it's William here from Allegory Gallery and I just wanted to do a little video today. Um, I'm at the store by myself so if somebody walks in I may have to cut this a little bit short but um, I wanted to do a little video today to show you some of the new necklaces that Andrew has created for the Creative Heart Challenge. So I'm gonna take you on a little tour. I have some details beside me because there's always such a mix of great stones and things in these. Um, so I wanted to give you a quick look. You may have seen these online already, but I figure there's nothing like seeing them a little bit in video and seeing what they really look like. So I'm going to start out and Andrew calls this one the desert walk necklace. So let me flip the camera around. So this is the desert walk necklace and you'll see the hill tribe silver pendant here. I think that's such a really really cool focal. Um, I love it. And you're gonna see lots of different things in here. You have the spiny oyster discs, which are really, really amazing. You're also gonna get silver spacers with that. So you can see, yeah, Jan, I love this necklace. This is probably one of my all time favorites um, that he's created in the recent past. And one of my favorites definitely of this set we've gotten. There's ebony wood in there with the, I believe that's aluminum, yes, aluminum bands. There's sponge coral as well throughout. And you're also going to have um, silver plated base metal textured toggle, which is right there. So all in all, I mean, this really, really is a beautiful necklace. And right now it is on our Etsy store. So if you've not gone to our Etsy store, it's allegorygallery.etsy.com. And I encourage you to take a look. Really, we've set up our Etsy store so that you're going to see what we really consider some of our very favorite materials, favorite things to use. We are handpicking things specifically for that store that go together, that work well together, and things we really believe you're going to love. So let me just jump back here in my list, and we're going to move on to the next necklace that we have here, the Wonder Necklace. You're going to see, again, some of that spiny oyster in here. Again, the silver spacers. This is graduated. I think this is beautiful in its simplicity. You have the Tibetan cap turquoise there. And of course, this here is a sterling toggle from Green Girl. And I really just, I love these spiny oyster discs. And they're not easy to find anymore, I believe. And they're really something special. Andrew, I think, has been hoarding these for quite a while. I'm surprised he's actually used them in the quantity that he has. But this is just a really great, simple piece. Easy to wear with jeans, easy to wear with white with black, you can dress it up or dress it down. And I think that's such a beautiful necklace. The next one has been quite a favorite so far. We've only had these in the store a few days. But let me get you the name on this one. This is the Monarch of Love. So you're going to see the Swarovski skull and it is crowned with a piece from Candace Wakamoto. Many of you probably know Candace from Hawaii. We're just enamored. We're in love with her things and really think they're super, super intricate and beautiful. 
So in addition to that, you have lots of garnet in there. You have the brass spacers. You have grossular garnets, hessonite garnets. You have some peridot in there. You have pearls in there. Vintage Czech glass, other Swarovski crystal, and then you have this bronze toggle here from Saki silver. So, I mean, this thing just sparkles and shines. Hey, Chris, good to see you joining us today. but I think that's just such a magnificent piece. For all you skull lovers out there, I think this one is done so well. My camera flipped around, sorry about that. But I think this one is done just so well. It has a perfect little crown. Of course, all hand wire wrapped additions here on the pendant. So that's the Monarch of Love. Again, on our Etsy store, allegorygallery.com. I'm sorry, allegorygallery.etsy.com. And these are all listed under the Creative Heart Challenge category if you want to jump right to them. Um, there's lots of great things on our Etsy store, I think. But if you really want to jump to these beautiful new necklaces before they're gone, I would jump right to the Creative Heart Challenge. Now, this is the Twilight Bubbles necklace, is what Andrew titled this one. And each of these have a little story to them. I encourage you to take a look and read them on Etsy. A little bit more information. Um, generally a lot of little stories and family history that Andrew puts out there. But this has faceted ruby rounds, irradiated quartz coated rounds, which really give it such a beautiful, beautiful shine from blue to purple, aqua, teal. A really, really cool um, setting in there. And then you have the kyanite rounds, which who, I mean, really doesn't love kyanite? It's such a beautiful stone. Of course, you have the large kyanite. Those are marquee cut denim kyanite. And of course, those are silver plated spacers in there. And a silver plated base metal toggle there. Hammered, textured. And I really love that. But I think, I mean, this kyanite here is just amazing. Like I said, who doesn't love kyanite? It has such a beautiful color to it and such a shine. I'll right, give you an overall view of that necklace. So, that's one of my favorites as well. I really, I really like that one. I think you can tell I like kyanite a little bit. So um, we'll move on here a little bit to this one. And let me pull this up here. The wood smoke necklace. And I think this is just superb. You have fancy grade smoke quartz in there along with the pyrite you have a toggle from Saki some check glass carnelian I think it's really really nice I love this um, I mean wood smoke it's the perfect description
I'm sorry, I said that was carnelian. It's brown cal chalcedony, actually. And I just love these gem quality smoky quartz nuggets. Sorry, y'all, I flipped my camera again. Getting a little too excited trying to show all this to you. Bethany, they are amazing fall colors. I was just gonna say it's perfect for this fall. It's really great as a winter necklace. I could see this worn over some winter white shirt or sweater. Great for any holiday party. And again, these are on our Etsy store, allegorygallery.etsy.com. This peachy goodness here, I just love. So this is Faceted Organ Sunstone, Peach Moonstone Nuggets, Rounds, and Faceted Hexagons. So that's mostly what it's made out of. Then you have a copper-plated toggle, textured. But I mean, look, look at the shine you're getting in those. I love that. rich colors and you have these little copper ore discs in here Let's see if I can there it is such lovely texture on that Look at that iridescence on that shine. I love it. So I'm gonna go over here. This is a pretty long necklace here. You're looking at about 25 and a half inches total. But super pretty. And for you skull lovers out there, Andrew also did another skull necklace. A little bit more simple this time compared to the other one. I love those eyes. Or lack thereof, I guess it is. But in this, you have copper spacers, you have blue tiger eye, fuchsia labradorite faceted nuggets, kyanite, vintage check glass, of course, that wonderful Swarovski crystal skull and the decorative copper S class. Let me see if I can get that a little better there. So, I love, 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 love all the stones in here. And these are super fall colors, these deep, rich colors, rich blues, rich magentas, reds. I love how they all blend into the skull. You have the shine on the skull, beautifully cut skull, with these amazing stones. quick overview here.
And last but not least for today, we have what Andrew calls the Autumn Fire Necklace. This is a three strand necklace. So there's a lot to it. Um, mostly, there's a lot of carnelian in there. I'm going to take it off of this for just a moment so you can set it down and take a better look at it. So you're going to see in this Hessonite garnets, lots of carnelian, um, carved fluted carnelian, mystic coated faceted carnelian, those little copper ore coins again, which I'm in love with. I think they're really cool. And then African copper tiny spacers. You have Swarovski crystal pearls in there. Hammered copper cones. And this beautiful, beautiful toggle. And it's bronze leaf toggle. So it's hard to get a feel for this lying down, but I think you can see all these beautiful autumn colors in here. Called Autumn Fire for a reason. It looks like what the trees look like around here in Pennsylvania when, when they start turning. Beautiful blazes of orange and yellows. That's what we have for you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed that a little bit, just giving you a quick tour. I know sometimes in pictures things don't always don't always look like um, like you'd hope them to look, or you don't always see the shine, you don't always see how beautiful things are when they catch the light. So hopefully that gave you a quick look. There are many, many more necklaces that he's created. I think he's done a total of 12 or 13 new ones, so that's just a quick view of them, um, of some of them. So I hope you take a look on our Etsy page. Again, allegorygallery.etsy.com, and it's all in the Creative Heart section. But feel free to check out the other sections. We hope you will. And if you have any questions, you can always write me, of course, um, william at allegorygallery.com. I also wanted to say a quick thank you to all those people who have written me um, via email, via Facebook, um, responding to my last newsletter. I'm glad that people have enjoyed it, I, and I, I'm really glad that people have taken the time to write to me and take me up on that offer. I've learned a lot about people, and if I haven't gotten back to you yet, I will soon. So I hope everything is great for you all out there in Facebook land, and again, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.